What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and I'm finally back home here in California because early this week I was in Taiwan for Computex which is like the second most largest IT trade show in the world. There were a bunch of new products announced, a bunch of awesome modded gaming PCs and also a new lineup of the GTX 1070 and 1080 cards from all of the board partners. If you're into PCs or even gaming, Computex is definitely the place to be. In fact, I enjoyed Computex a lot more than CES. Now, although I didn't do full coverage on the event, I did manage to scoop up some of the highlights. So here are my top three picks for this year. The first and probably the biggest announcement from Computex was AMD's new graphics card, the RX 480, which is going to be retailing for $199 and it's aimed at making VR more affordable. It's expected to launch on June 29th with 4 and 8 gigabyte variants. I for one can't wait to get my hands on one for comparison reasons and benchmarking of course. Asus has also launched three Zenfone models this year, the Zenfone 3 5.5 inch standard model, 5.7 inch deluxe model and a 6.8 inch ultra model which is aimed at media consumption. Starting from 199 the Zenfone 3 is aimed to beat out the competition with some of the best specs available. The Zenfone 3 Deluxe is most likely going to be the most popular because it's also the most powerful. For only $500 you get a Snapdragon 820 processor with an Adreno 530 GPU and up to 6 gigs of RAM. You also get a 5.7 inch Super AMOLED 1080p screen with 3000 mAh battery and built in micro SD card expansion. The release date is aimed for the end of second quarter which is June but I think we will see them on the shelves within the next few months. And finally I stopped by the Inwin booth to see what these guys were up to and as always they never disappoint. Not only do they have a lineup of some of the craziest modded PCs I've ever seen, but they also introduced a few new products. First up is the Nwin X-Frame 2.0, which is a test bench style case that can be positioned vertically or horizontally, which can also be rotated 360 degrees. It can also support up to 360mm radiators or three 120mm fans, which is really nice to see on a test bench. But what's so impressive about this full tower case is that you can either use this as a test bench or an actual PC case since it looks badass. Inwin also introduced the H-Frame 2.0, which is another full tower case which has been redesigned from their last model. It sports two tempered glass side panels with two LED strips that run down the front of the case that can be adjusted into six different colors and brightness modes. Inwin cases have always impressed me and I'm pretty confident that Big Red 2.0 will be built in one of these. Their third and final case introduced at Computex is the D-Frame 2.0, which is basically just a bigger version of their D-Frame cases with minor changes. A few other things in when introduced were the world's first remote controlled RGB cooling fans which can also be daisy chained with other fans. Another interesting thing here is the fact that these fans connect via an 8 pin PEG connector which means that you don't need to waste a SATA or Molex connector just for a fan. And lastly, a new lineup of power supplies which really impressed me. When you think about power supplies, you don't associate the word beauty or aesthetics. They just look like blocks of power. Well, Inwin is about to change that with their sexy ass power supplies. Not only are these fully modular, but they also have a glass side panel which shows all of the components inside and it also has built in LEDs which you can turn off by using a single switch. On top of all that, it has a USB port in the back, so if you want to charge your smartphone or any device, you can now do that even while the PC is off. Inwin definitely hasn't stopped innovating and they seem to have always something fascinating to show off at their booths. There were also some pretty sick modded PCs that I saw, so I'm gonna end it over here and let you guys enjoy the footage I picked up on these PCs. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button and I will see you in the next video.